So you were released from the army in 1918? Yes, that's right. I had a leg wound and I was very badly shell-shocked. You were awarded the MC, were you not? Yes, I was. Would you care to tell us about that? No, Brigadier Cooper, I'd rather not. It's all over now and, well, you know how many chaps earn decorations and never got them. You uh, must have been in a pretty dicky state when you first arrived here, am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose I was. But didn't you find the boy something of a strain under the circumstances? No, not once I'd shown them that I wouldn't be played up. In fact, I think they speeded up my recovery. He's certainly been in disgustingly good shape for the past few years. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, one general question, Mr. Powlett Jones. What, in your view, is the most essential factor for a school like Bamfield? Oh, I can answer that straight out. A happy atmosphere. If that's there, then, well, everything else falls into place. What are your political views, Mr. Powlett Jones? I think I describe myself as a moderate socialist. But I see no need to bring my politics into school life. Not what I've heard. <coughs> <coughs> well, any further questions, gentlemen? I have one more question. Mr. Pauli Jones, let us suppose that uh, you don't get this post and we decide to appoint one of the other candidates. Would you be prepared to continue here as a housemaster under a new head? I've been very happy here as a housemaster and would be very happy to continue as such. But, well, I, I think it's only fair to say that, well, Mr. Carter and I have very different views on what education is all about. And if he were appointed, well, then I think it's only fair to all concerned if I were to look round for another post. Thank you, Mr. Pallet Jones. You've been very frank with us. Hmm. Uh, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. They're giving him a good long time in that. Yes. What well, do you reckon? The longer he's in there, the better his chances. No, I don't know about that. No, they want to give him a pretty good grilling about their Cape Town establishment. Well, some of these colonial schools are pretty queer shops, you know. Shoddy standards. Second-rate material, bribing the ushers to get them through exams, that sort of thing. Didn't look that sort to me. No? Well... Let's hope he looks the wrong sort to them. God, what a way to spend a Monday morning. I could do with a drink. So could I. Well, it shouldn't be long now. Carter, did Sir Rufus ask you a question about, well, how you'd react if you didn't get the job? Uh, if I were appointed, say? Yes, he did. A bit nasty, I thought. What did you say? Well, same as you were, madam. What was that? Huh? Oh, something about you being a first-class chap, and I'm sure they'd make the right decision, and whichever way it went, they could rely on me to serve the school to the best of my ability, that sort of thing. Well, you've got to, haven't you? All in the game. It's what they want to hear. It's what you've got to give them. You didn't mean it? God, no. No, look, I don't hold anything against you personally. That's all water under the bridge, but... I want to run my own show now, either here or elsewhere. I can't afford to mark time much longer. Just look at that. He hasn't turned a hair. He looks as if he's just walked out to buy a collar stud. Well, all over a bar the waiting, eh? Do you, do you think they might give us the results quite soon? Well, I hope so, old man. We're all in the same boat here. We're all just as anxious to know. Yes. Thank you very much. Not at all. Just like being back at school, isn't it? <laughs> I think I'll go out for a breath of fresh air while they're making up their minds.
Right, gentlemen. Uh, one more point, sir. No, no, I'm like... sorry. We've reached a decision. I can accept no further items of business. Now, gentlemen, I realize that one or two of you still have misgivings, but we have had a clear majority, and I, for one, am convinced that the majority decision in this case is the right one. Hear, hear. Yeah. I do think it most important that our new headmaster should be left in no doubt that he has the wholehearted support of the full board of governors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure that's quite understood. Uh, Mr. Garside, would you show him in, please? 